All right, now this morning, uh, look at a couple photos here. Major Jim Russell with Florida State University Police Department. He's also an avid bicyclist. And uh, starting tomorrow, he's going to be using his joy to cycle uh, to begin the Unconquered Ride. His mission is to raise awareness about two very important issues. Jim Russell joining us here this morning. Good morning. Good to see you, Greg. Uh, this is not the first time you have taken on this kind of task. 24 straight hours of pedaling and, and talking about mental illness and suicide. That's right, I'm doing it again. And the reason why I picked this is one, of course, like you said, I do love cycling, but also I'm somebody that, that lives every day with a mental illness. Mm -hmm. I have major depressive disorder. And Florida State has been so good to me to, to give me a lot of support. And so what I wanna do is I wanna show other people that that the stigma that people have mm -hmm. where, they, where they're afraid to seek treatment because they're afraid to lose their job or lose their friends, they don't have to, they don't have to, 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 to live by that, by that stigma, that, that people can live full and, and healthy, healthy lives. And so what the, that's what this ride is, is to demonstrate. And of course, sometimes there's different degrees with mental illness. Sometimes people may be undiagnosed, not even realize that they may have some kind of mental illness. That's true. There are so many people that are undiagnosed. I went undiagnosed for, for almost 20 years before I finally got help and things got pretty bad that I finally you know, for, was forced to go and, and speak to a doctor. So if people are having things happen in their lives where they suspect they could have a mental illness, go go see your doctor mm -hmm. right away. Don't wait around. And speaking of getting help, certainly raising awareness about suicide prevention. It's estimated about 30,000 people each year in the U.S. take their lives um, as the result of, of suicide. And trying to really bring more awareness to let people know there's help out there. Exactly. Suicide is the silent killer. There's so many people that are that are suffering that, that have, and 90% of the time there's an underlying mental illness as well. And so many people are suffering from it. And a lot of people don't know that suicide is actually the number two killer of college students. And what do you think most people may be surprised about uh, the most? Why are these for you such important issues to raise for? Not only you know personally for you, but trying to get other people aware of it. But one of the things also is in law enforcement, especially you know my, my profession of choice, um, it's something that the stigma is very high. There's so mm -hmm. many law enforcement officers that are dying by suicide more than, than die feloniously. So it's something that I'm reaching out to also my own colleagues to say you need to get help, you know, and, and help is available. And you'll see some of the information coming up on your screen here. Again, the big ride kicking off tomorrow. Going to be a little bit of a wet ride there. Mm -hmm. But for 24 straight hours, you're not going to be doing it alone necessarily. You want people to come out there and, and kind of cheer you on. And, and show their support. Sure, bring an umbrella. It's not a race. I'm happy to stop and talk to people. Um, I want this to be communicative and be able to and be able to share my story and share the issue with people. So, uh, if you want to walk, you want to ride a bike around with me a few laps. Come on out. And of course, get involved. Westcott Fountain Loop, right there, uh, heart of Florida State University's campus. And if you'd like to learn more, we've got all the details right now up on the Sunrise section of our website, WTXL. TV. Major Jim Russell, Florida State University Police Department. Thank you very Thanks much. Thanks for having me. We'll see you out there tomorrow. And again,